And it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I still want to play with dust pans and already pre-primed black canvases. My timer's set, my glasses are close by, and I have an idea. Um, I think I'm going to start with a pretty simple idea, actually. I'm going to put some white pearl in both dust pans. I'm going to make up a similar batch of colors, and I'm going to do just what I just said. I'm going to make up a batch of colors. I have a grouping of similar colors or in the similar family so the pink and the magenta and it's sort of like um, what I imagine a rainbow a strange rainbow <laughs> let's call it strange rainbow and I may go through these twice I may not try and leave my tops off I'm gonna throw some anomalous darker Prussian blue that always sells. I'm going to hope that my tops aren't too plugged. That was not what I had in mind. And I'm going to use my beautiful gold. Probably right down the middle also. And leave that top off as well. I never did finish my, my color combinations from that side, but it doesn't matter. Because I'm just going to continue on. with everything I've got in my lineup. And then when I get to, do I want that next one? Hmm, what do I want next? I want to go back to this again. And since I'm already there, I'm gonna move those out of the way. I'm gonna throw a little black in there. I haven't done the usual, which is putting white in between every other layer. But I think that's not a bad idea right now. I haven't nearly filled those up, but they're getting someplace closer to what I expect. Just a little squeeze of everything. In this case, a very little squeeze. Come on out. Out, out, out. And I'm not going to be too worried about being... Come out, thank you. Precise. Because it's basically... Out, 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 out. Okay, I need a bamboo skewer. What can I say? I need one with a point on the end. I need to open my bottle. <laughs> I'm so sorry for making you guys wait. I want that turquoise metallic. I like that turquoise metallic, and I'm not going to be denied my turquoise metallic. Even if it takes an extra second to clear a tip. Yes, we're clear now. Ish. I'm going to throw a little more black in there. And go back to my plan. Hopefully. Alright, so I like that gold. Not going to have nearly enough of it in there, I don't believe. I'm sort of not trying to be pr very precise, it looks like. I'm going to go back to using some more of that pearl, which is an Anita's metallic. I just call it pearl. Alright, so I'm almost, oh yes, I am, I'm into my handle. All right, well, I wish I had some tape there. But I don't, so it is what it is. And since I'm almost as full as I can possibly manage to be, and I haven't forgotten too many colors, if I want to add a color, I will either let it run down the handle like that. <laughs> yeah, I will add it afterwards. It occurs to me, I didn't use very much of my favorite color. Now I had a new idea. Go figure. Oh boy. That's really, really full. Okay, so I had a new idea. And that was instead of tipping the canvas to put this dustpan on, that I might like to put an edge catcher up against the end of whatever my dustpan was and see if I could flow paint out. I also wanted to start in the middle and turn my canvas 
And I think I have free, yep, I do. So I'm gonna try that. And then, right out there. And because I don't have any more of the colors I want in there, I'm very tempted to go ahead and use some of my other dustpan. Now my idea was to let the dustpan tip forward at least once. Maybe by putting paint to the edge. I would have a chance. Now I've got some beautiful colors popping to the surface here. Lots and lots of dripping, which I'm going to have to decide how I feel about in a minute. Just going to let the beautiful cells in my dustpan continue. including any anomalous dots uh, like that. Here are my Princeton Artful Catalyst spatulas. Look at that gorgeous gold and turquoise. Ah, uh, the purple. So I'm going to shove as much of that down without making it get too mixed together, hopefully. And then I'm going to go back to doing what I was doing, which is using my residuals. And I like this over here, but I want it to be wider. I feel like dripping into the artwork. It's a because I can moment, and it's a because I want to moment. And I'm gonna all kinds of drops. I'm not so sure about any of those, but I could do all kinds of things that have not occurred to me yet. Like use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas to add even another area of color. And I think it's going to keep happening because <laughs> I keep dripping. Because you really cannot clean off a matte black canvas. There's no way it's ever going to be anything except for schmutzed up unless you paint the black with black again. So I'm tempted. What am I tempted to do? <laughs> you tell me. I am tempted to just make, 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 mm, keep making some interesting shapes. And for that, I think I'm going to grab some paint out of my dustpan. I'm going to add a little more gold because I don't see enough. And I'm going to take Now I like that gold, but I want to let it go down over the edge. So I'm just going to let my dust, my yes, uh, my scoop empty itself at the edge of the canvas, and then I'm going to think about whether I'm going to just add some gold, which I am. And how many other colors I'm planning on trying that with? up to whatever inspires me at the moment. And I'm really loving this blue, but I want a metallic blue. Do I have a metallic blue? No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like I have I 
try and keep some of my paints out of my way so I can continue. How about the dustpan? The dustpan can go out of my way too. And I'm just feeling like being frivolous and having some fun with colors. Why not? I found out recently it's not that bad a deal that on a black canvas a lot of bright colors do stay. So why not just go ahead and use them? I have a color indoors that I want. But I think I'm going to go ahead and throw some of that pink in there. That's kind of fun, I think. I'm not unhappy with that a bit. I haven't taken a torch. We got a really cold day today out here, so maybe things will happen a little differently. I've got some of that white pearl. Grab a bamboo skewer. What else do I want? Anything? I know, I'm always asking you and you can't tell me really, can you? That's bothering me. Let that go right down over the edge. I have some black metallic. I think it's kind of fun. I think I need some blue on this other side too though. Just use a bamboo skewer to lead it a little bit into shape. That looks fairly well balanced. Fairly well. <laughs> we'll see how I feel about it in a minute. I don't have the purple I want. I'm just feeling like repeating the colors that I have in the main body somewhat. I think I'm just about done and it's time to take the torch to it and see if we pop any cells. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paints so when I want to leave something thick like this is, I don't feel like I'm taking a risk with the paint cracking when it dries. Do some of my artwork if anybody's interested. Just communicate with me via the comments section on YouTube and uh, we'll talk about it. I have almost filled up volume three of the wet and dry artworks from YouTube on Facebook albums that are listed at the bottom of the description under the video under show more under the Teespring. Also there you will find my Amazon link and the fact that I've written a book called Because I Can. I invite you to enjoy that. They have um, the capacity for you to borrow it from a lending library so you can find out if you like it. It looks like a few people have taken advantage of that. What else do I want over there? I want some blue.
No matter what I say, I'm never done till I'm really done. I'm just gonna call it good right there. Um, I could probably mess with that in all kinds of ways and I'm just not gonna do that. It says we have a minute 40, 48 seconds left. The glasses never came off my head. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I could probably put a little more gold in there and that might make me happier. And I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I like gold. Gold gold is the answer for me for a lot of things. I think I'm going to do it again, too. Hopefully you can see all that. All right, so if you donate through PayPal or Patreon, I actually prefer PayPal because it's it includes your email address easily. And um, if you do that, you'll be entered into a contest I hope to continue running a contest, that is, as long as I get enough donations to cover shipping and my costs. And you'll get to choose one of three paintings that I offer. And uh, my thank you email will include um, the dates and pictures of the artwork. I don't like those dots as much as I thought I was going to, and I hope those gold dots can stay because that's kind of neat. And I like it. What else do I want? Do I want any more dots? That's the question. Where would I put them if I did want them? Well, I had dots, and I've sort of gotten rid of dots now. I think I want black centers. Whoa. That's not really what I had in mind. I got gooey black paint dribbling out the front. And my timer's going off. And that tells me I have a few minutes left. And I'm not minding those, those will be fine. It does make me want to put a little more black into the pattern. You can never trust that I'm absolutely done when I say I am. Because I tend to want to be inspired. Yeah, that's not bothering me. I like that, in fact. Okay, so back to please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. It helps my standing on YouTube. I have an Instagram and a Pinterest link down at the bottom under show more at the bottom of the video's description. And there are, that's where the links to the volumes 1, 2, and 3 of the Facebook albums Wet and Dry Artwork from YouTube. We have over 415 videos as I speak to you and over 44,000 subscribers. And thank you all very much. I really appreciate the, the, um, <laughs> the contributions and the com comments really, really, really a lot. I thank you very much. We have a good time. I'm just not sure what I'm doing with these. But we have them, so I want to do something with them. Yeah, it's cool. I'm good. Let me make sure you can see some of that. Hopefully all of it. Oh, really? Cool. I did a good job this time. All right, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, I see that over there. And I'm going to camouflage it with some gold. Because <laughs> I can. Because I can. Don't forget my book. Um, if there's anything I forgot, other than the fact that there are 415 videos as I speak to you, and if you like what I do, you should go watch one, or two, or ten. Have a binge. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for the job. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Priscilla out. <laughs>